Thank you so much for having me here. I'm very excited to give this power talk. Uh, my name is Varun Deshpande. I'm the Managing Director for India at the Good Food Institute. We're a global nonprofit focused on accelerating the growth of plant-based and cell-based meat, eggs, and dairy, so that in the future we could have uh, affordable protein, which we get without, uh, without slaughter, without environmental issues, without antimicrobial resistance, etc. But today I'm here to talk to you about the impact of artificial intelligence on food innovation. In 2011, a famous investor named Mark Andreessen said software is eating the world. And he was right. Now, eight years later, this technology transformation is continuing faster than ever. This phone contains two million times more storage than the 1969 Apollo 11 spacecraft computer. And they went to the moon. In fact, $8.3 trillion of computing power in 1961 is now available for rent for a few cents, a few paise. And this is happening across all industries, of course. Everywhere you look, we're really, really fortunate to be alive at this exact point in history. Uh, and that's true, of course, in the food sector as well, because all these advancements in technology and data have allowed us to use a whole new suite of tools in the food industry, right from seed to lab to production facility to plate. Now, in our own sector, where plant-based meat substitutes are taking off, Scientists are examining new crops, analyzing their genomic characteristics using advanced techniques like uh, accelerated breeding timelines and visualization to optimize with their particular end use in mind. So they're going beyond the previous generation's uh, parameters of harvestability, uh, and they're focusing on making meaty textures. And that's really how you get the next generation of foods, whether, the, whether you're looking for a fibrous meaty texture or not. Going further ahead in the value chain, uh, when it comes to formulations and novel ingredients for taste and functionality, artificial intelligence has a role to play there as well. Now, you may have heard of uh, Impossible Foods, which is uh, a company which is taking the world by storm. Now, their Impossible Burger is made entirely from plants, and they add an ingredient called heme, H-E-M-E, -E, from soy. And that ingredient gives it a very meat-like taste. Now, what if every company in the world had the ability to access those kinds of new ingredients? In fact, with the data sets and artificial intelligence, which is, a, which is available today, you can actually do that. You can go through these ma massive data sets using algorithms. You can evaluate new ingredients based on their structure and their function. And that's really how you're going to get the new innovation of the future. So every company can leverage those ingredients, right? And finally, if you think of implementing advanced manufacturing and quality control techniques, which can unlock new innovation, artificial intelligence has a role to play there as well. So we all know that uh, extrusion is a process where you just take different ingredients, such as plant-based proteins, and you put them under some heat and pressure, and you unlock new textures by doing so. Now, imagine an extrusion line where every piece of the extrudate, which is coming off the line, is analyzed using advanced techniques of computer vision or advanced imaging techniques like hyperspectral imaging. You could check right down to a very minute level whether it has that texture, that fibrousness across the entire cut. And you could then differentiate, even if you're making these, these foods from plant-based ingredients, you could even differentiate textures from one type of fish versus another type of fish. So you and I could be eating that plant-based food and couldn't tell whether it's, uh, it's plant-based surmai or actual surmai taken from the ocean. So really quickly, to sum up, uh, novel technologies like artificial intelligence across the entire value chain are unlocking new techniques, new technologies, which can uh, pioneer the new generation of foods, and it can make protein accessible and affordable for everyone. And I would encourage every young entrepreneur and scientist to take a look at these technologies and try and leverage them in your innovation. Thank you.